Hello my lovelies and welcome to another chat with me. It's so good to have you here. How have you been? How are you doing? Hope you're doing good. So this video is a special shout out to all the mama jammers out there. If you just found out you're pregnant, congratulations. If this is your second trimester, congratulations. How have you been? If this is your third trimester, you keep going. You can do it, you're almost there. And if this is your fourth trimester, well done mama. Welcome to the beauty of motherhood and the perfection that you are. And I know a lot of you are wondering what is fourth trimester, but I'll talk about that in another video. So the video today is going to be talking about 10 helpful tips in your first trimester. So stick with me and let us begin. Number one, do not bath with too hot water. So what hot water does is it dilates your blood vessels and it can make you prone to miscarriages. So as much as possible, stick to just your lukewarm water or even cold water if you can stand it to take a shower. Number two, don't forget to take your vitamins, your folic acid and your iron pills. This is important to prevent congenital anomalies for your little one and also to prevent anemia. Number three, stay away from caffeine. Number four, drink loads of water. I feel like every video, water finds a way to just sip in. Get what I did there? Sip in. Number five, don't forget to rest and relax. You need it. Your body is adjusting to this new life that is growing in it. It's adjusting to this new situation. So give your body the rest and the relaxation it needs to adapt and adjust to what's going on with you. Number six, opt for healthier snacks. And also, the, you know, the meat that you have to eat for two is being debunked right now. You don't have to eat for two. An extra 300 to 500 calories added to your regular diet is fine and enough to give your baby the nutrients he or she needs. Number seven, fruits and vegetables are your best friends. It just follows number six with eating healthier and just fruits and vegetables for your skin, for your hair, for your baby too is very important. And stay away from things that have vitamin A. Vitamin A, which is also known as retinol, is not good for your little one. It can cause um, congenital disorders, so, so vitamin A is a no-no. Number eight, no strenuous activities. Don't try to pull, lift heavy weights or push too hard. Anything that will cause so much pressure, especially to your lower abdomen, stay clear of as this can make you prone to having a miscarriage. Number nine, don't forget to treat yourself. Treat yourself, you deserve it mama. Like you have done well, well done for your baby. Treat yourself, enjoy the journey and it's okay. And finally, exercise, yes. So I know I said most trainers activities, but exercising, good exercise that is good for pregnancy. If you go online, there are lots of materials for you. What exercise does for you is it allows blood flow. Pregnancy in itself is what something called an hyperplagal state, which means that you are prone to having blood clots. So exercising would help to push your blood to circulate around your body to prevent it from gathering in one place and causing a clot. So walking or something mild but effective. And also squats and just little squats can help with the hips to loosen up the hips, especially when you're about to give birth. It loosens, up the, loosens the hips and helps it, makes it easier for the baby to come out of the pelvis. So thank you so much guys for watching. Thank you for sticking with me. I hope to see you again next week. Don't forget to like, to share, to subscribe. And if you have any questions, any concerns, send me an Instagram DM or an email and I'll be sure to respond to you. And I'm also going to leave the link to the forum where you can contact doctors in case you have any medical issues. Well done guys and thank you so much. Remain blessed. Mwah.